Salat al-Fajr finishes. You sit down. Don't rush. Sit a little bit. The world is coming. You can go to work after this. Sit and make some dhikr. The minimum of subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wallahu akbar. The minimum is to say it 10 times. At least sit down and say it 10 times before you move. At least. Then after this, if you have this time, sit and engage in afkaru salat wa afkaru sabah, the supplication of the morning. And understand that reading afkar after our salat and reciting the morning dhikr is much better than reciting the Quran during this time. Why? Because it's prescribed for that time. And Quran generally is the best dhikr on earth. But when there are times in which other adhkar are prescribed, then they become better. So you make adhkar, the adhkar after salat, and then you begin with adhkar al-sabah. After you finished all this, you begin to read some Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows you to read. And when you make adhkar al-sabah, yani don't go now and look into the app. Oh, subhanallah, you see it's about 23, 25, 26 pages. It's going to take me half an hour. Where am I going to read Afghar al-Sabah? Relax. If you're not, if you're new to this and you don't know this, pick two or three and stay onto them for a month. Pick two or three, do something from Afghar al-Sabah. Afghar al-Sabah will give you protection. It will give you strength. When to, as you read Afghar al-Sabah, you come across some of them that are familiar, we all know, like, لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير. This ذكر is supposed to be said a hundred times during the day and the night. You can say fifty in the morning. You can say fifty in the afternoon. But as you say this ذكر, which we all know, be conscious of the fact that this entire universe was created because of this word لا إله إلا الله. The paradise and the hellfire was created because of لا إله إلا الله. Mankind. Well, jinn and the angels and everything that exists on earth was created because of La ilaha illallah. So when you read it 50 times in the morning, it's sure to do some effect in your heart. As you read it, you be conscious of the fact that this worldly life is worthless without La ilaha illallah. What was I rushing to? After a salat, I'm rushing. It's like someone kicked me out of the masjid. Why is it that? Why is it the fact like this after Salat? People want to run straight away. It's like, you know, they've been choked and suffering inside that we cannot wait to leave. Someone's kicking you out. Sit down and make these adhkar. When you say, La ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Trust me, it'll settle you. It'll settle your heart. Then you'll know it eventually at the end of the day. Without this word, nothing would have existed. Everything is worthless without this word. So give it its time, give it its right, sit down and read it and recite it and perfect it. And now the sun hasn't even come up yet. And look how much a person has done. This is the life of a productive Muslim during Ramadan. And outside of Ramadan, you continue this strategy as well. By now, you've proven to yourself that oh Allah, truly, really, the hereafter is my concern.